Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard and today I'm going to do something on the Virgin Voyage of Scarlet Lady that I've not done since like the first month this ship was in operation. Now, I have been on Virgin ships uh, eight or nine times. I lose track because uh, the casino does a really good job with drinks, but they have this thing called the Grog Walk, which is basically a pub crawl. And in my old age of 36, uh, you know, I've done a lot of pub crawls, grog walks, things like that in my day. They're usually at Renaissance fairs. When I last did this, they had one pub crawl, it was 10 people. There were 500 people on board the ship, period. Now there are 2,400 people on board the ship. So I want to show you the experience of the pub crawl. It is important, or the grog walk, or whatever they want to call it, but you do have to actually sign up very early. You kind of need to be on board by about 2.30 in order to even get a spot on this. It's $40, uh, I believe, and it includes some drinks, it includes some food, it includes everything like that. So join along with me as we go for a crawl, and more specifically, a pub crawl. That's gonna start on deck seven at the SIP lounge, or could start on deck seven at the um, other side at the loose cannon, but we're gonna go to the SIP lounge because that's where we signed up, and I think we're following this guy right here. We're going to Grog Walk. Are you the magician? What are? I'm not. I'm oh, okay. The spark. You're the spark. Yes. You'll I've never met a male around. spark. I've only really? met the female sparks before oh. on other ships. I'm just kind of oh, saying. Nice. What I've... other ships have you sailed on? This one and the Valiant. Nice. nice. So. I guess there's only been two until. Like there's a month only ago. been two until a month ago, and I'm not flying to Europe right now. I just got back from Egypt, so. <laughs> hey, uh, that's where we're headed in a couple. Yeah, of weeks. and uh, this is where we're meeting up. I'll give you some updates along the way. All right, so I am at the Grog Walk and checked in, and you can see I'm wearing an appropriate uh, Grogu Baby Yoda shirt that says it is five o'clock somewhere. You do have this mask. You don't have to wear it on your face. They said you have to wear it somewhere on your body so they know that you're part of the Grog Walk, that you get it. I, I, I'm not gonna lie to all y'all. I just had two Captain and Cokes about four minutes before I got up here uh, down in the casino. So uh, four drinks in quick succession here with some food. Fortunately, there's some corn, there was some corn in here before. Again, I haven't done it since like the first month that Virgin opened, uh, but it's looking like a group of about 50 now. And there's two groups at a time instead of groups of like 10. So uh, come along. That's us. That's us. These beautiful, sexy people, that's us. You want to respond back with a coy, but with some enthusiasm. Like, even if for just one second you're pretending that you're excited to be here, <laughs> if you have to pretend, that's okay. But, like, think about it like this. Yeah, you've got, never gotten excited for alcohol. Right, you got alcohol, there's Give food on the ship, and, this is my favorite, there are no kids anywhere. Tommy the Bounce, 
What are you doing here holding the megaphone like it's a microphone? Yeah, Tommy. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm going to tell you. All right? Tell us. We're going to drink a lot here this evening. Well, not we. I'm not going to drink. <laughs> You're going to drink a lot here this evening. I know where the bathroom is. Yeah. Get it? Very important. So, if you got to go to the bathroom, just come over and see me and let me know. I could walk you there if you'd like. Now, some of you may be thinking, tell me the bounce. I don't need you to walk me to the bathroom. <laughs> you're probably right. However, you're going to drink a lot this evening. You're going to get pretty drunk, some of you. And we're going to be hopping from bar to bar. So if you do have to go to the bathroom, just go ahead and let me know, because I hate for you to leave without my knowledge and come back to an empty bar. Right. That wouldn't be fun for anyone. Easy way to remember it. If you gotta pee, find Tommy B. <laughs> okay? You come right up to me, you can be discreet about it. Just say, Tommy. Number one. I got a VIP. <laughs> say, Tommy, I got a VIP. It's a very important piss, alright? <laughs> or something else that starts with a P. I don't know. I don't want to know. But I'll take you to the bathroom. Great, yeah, cool. Also, if anybody is uh, is allergic to anything, go ahead and let me know, because we'd hate to poison you. All right, back to the mouth. When you get your currency, you will take your currency over to the bar and drop it off at the bar in order for the bartender to give you your drink. We're going to be drinking a pink French 75 here. Ooh, everybody say ooh. ooh. Everybody say ah. ah. It's got strawberry, strawberry puree, uh, gin, <laughs> bubbles, and lime. Whoa. This might Oh, those masks? Don't lose them. I'll tell you why later, but don't lose them. If you lose it, you might not be able to drink again later. Think about that. Think about that. You don't have to wear them on your face, but you know, keep them on your person. You can yeah. wear them on your ankle, your shoulder. On your leg. You like put it up on your thigh. Okay. On your bicep. <laughs> All right. Who's ready to get this frog walk started? <laughs> All right, so in order to actually do your mission, you get these little cards. I have to find a stranger who knows which way is north. I can teach a stranger how to know which way is north because there's a cool trick about five feet from here, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, so I can share that trick and the stranger can actually point it out. Uh, but yeah, my, my first mission is to find a stranger who knows which way is north. You get these cards and you have to complete it to uh, move on. So. Uh, if you don't know, uh, you can use that big uh, thing in the sky uh, over there uh, and it'll tell you which way is north. Uh, kind of a cool little thing, the big in thing in the foyer to tell you what's north. But i got to find someone to show me which way is north. Maybe they can just open up the thing on their phone and figure it out. So I completed the, cast, the, the task. I got a shell. My stranger, I, they had to tell me where north is and I had to be on the same deck as them. I'm going to put my shell there, and I've got a French 75, which is some champagne with some strawberries in it. And these are actually full-size cocktails. I think that's the important thing to understand, is they are not taster cocktails like some other things. These are actually, truly, full-size cocktails. French 75, champagne and strawberries. It's probably sparkling wine and not champagne. I'm just saying, because champagne's more expensive, because it comes from a place in France, and they're not using real champagne on this, so... It tastes like that crap. They give away its sail away um, with some strawberry puree in the bottom. French 75. First drink on the pub crawl. Remember, get the Ahoy sailors all the way out <laughs> <laughs> before you cut them off and then don't let them finish. Um, did everybody finish their drinks? Yes. Uh, I hope so because we're moving to the next bar. Follow Amanda. When no one is around you, no one does it better. I don't even know if that's fucking part of it.
So for the next stop on our uh, on our pub crawl grog walk, we are in the we are in the smallest venue on the ship for drinking. It's called the Loose Cannon. This was built for uh, pretty much when there were 500 people on board. They try and do trivia and there were things in here. And guess what? It's far too small to do anything. Uh, so. Yeah, this is a worthless bar for events unless you have a limited number of people in these events. And that's just the truth. I mean, you can see my eyes. That's just the truth. You'll see right here. Very tiny bar, especially when uh, you've got 4,200. They'll say, they'll say, or 4,400, 4,200 people on board. They'll say, oh, it's uh, 4,400, sorry. Not 44. God, I've already drink, drunk. Uh, 2,400 people on board. They'll say it's a small, intimate space, but it's really a space that was well underbuilt for a full capacity ship. Sorry for that uh, little tangent, but also true. Now, how this is going to go. You're going to complete your mission. Take a look at your current seat. Let's see what you drink. Give it a round of applause to our lovely bar staff. They work so hard. So we do have yet another challenge here where you get a card, you've got to do the challenge, and then you get your seashell, and then you get your drink. I'm not quite sure what the drink here is yet, but... The rum around. It's called a, called a rum around. Oh, look. And there's pretzels and chicken wings that just showed up. I, I'm not even angry here. Look at that. There's a plate of pretzels and chicken wings that just showed up. Now they're from right over there. I, I was going to go get some of those myself, but hey, look, if they want to bring them, I ain't angry. Pretzels and chicken wings from the social club just showed up. That is an improvement. That is a massive improvement from the last time I did this tour because they didn't have any food till we got to um, Pink Agave later on in the tour. So, pretzels, pretzels and uh, chicken wings that I was going to get myself because you can't keep drinking unless you eat something. So we got some kind of rum drink coming. All right, so for my next challenge, I had to find uh, three people to go in the hot tub tonight at midnight. Uh, and we all said uh, the refresh rates on these lights are a little weird. Three people to go in the hot tub tonight at midnight. And uh, I found three people that are going to go to the casino at midnight. Because guess what? We're identifying the casino as a hot tub. And three people, the three of us, that met up to go in the hot tub. It's a gamble anyway. So you got to bring your three people that are going to the hot tub slash casino. And you get your drink, which is a rum punch of uh, some sort. Uh, and all these drinks are pre-mixed just due to the fact that it is uh, quite a big crowd that's coming around for the grog walk, pub crawl, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I'm going to have a rum drink. I'll give you a, re a review on the rum drink once it's in my hand, as well as uh, some pretzels and chicken wings. So somehow I wound up doing a chicken dance and getting a coin, even though I'm going to the hot tub slash casino with some people later. Again, there's probably about 40 people or nah, 30 people. So, I mean, this is only done two times. Well, by two times, I mean two groups out of four and a half groups. About 60 people get to experience this out of uh, 4,200 people. So, you do your math. Uh, but, yeah, this they do trivia and things in here. And this can probably see, we're going to say, we'll say there's 30 people in here. You add yourself another 30 people, that's like not even 2% of the ship. I know. It's just 2% of the ship can be in this room at any time because the public areas are built too small. Again, yeah, not meant to be a review of this, but I do, I do want to point out that it's done in a very, very small area. So we're going to pick up our next drink with our coin. We're going to put the rum punch in the shark's mouth, well, the coin in the shark's mouth, and it's a rum punch, right? It's a, ru a rum around. Rum around. Rum around. That's the name of the drink here. Let's see if I can figure out what's in it. Rum around, rum around, rum around. Rum around is purser's rum, pineapple, orange, coconut, and buzz button. 
and it's normally a $13 cocktail. Just so you can keep tabs on costs and everything like that. We'll do a cost-benefit analysis at the end and kind of see where we're at because this is first a finance channel uh, before anything else. Not gonna lie, the rum around kind of tastes like a painkiller. If you know the tiki drink, a painkiller. I'm a big fan of painkillers. Kind of tastes like a painkiller. I don't hate this drink. I actually really like this drink. So I will uh, call that a win on the rum around uh, second stop on our grog walk. So we are now moving to the next bar. I'm not gonna lie. I am the king of the chicken wings. And uh, my friend here, you don't like this drink, do you? No. Well, the good news is um, I do. And remember, uh, alcohol kills all things. So we're moving on to the next bar. I've somehow refilled my drink with someone who's not a fan of the drink and had probably about 20 chicken wings. Now I understand that chicken wings are not an additional cost or anything like that. They are built in. And I was incorrect to, that it is actually a $50 food tour, $50 tour. But I mean, just this drink alone was $14. So, you know, we're pricing, we're doing economics. I didn't catch the price of the first drink, but uh, I'm gonna go back to that bar. I got surprised the, the first drink. Now I'm not gonna lie, this uh, refill is going to uh, mess up my uh, <laughs> breathalyzer. We're gonna do it at the end of this, but hell, I don't really care. This is the grog walk on for voyages and bottoms up with my refilled glass with my friend who met, who really had two sips of his cocktail and decided he didn't like it. So I poured it in to my glass. We are walking and we are headed to our next bar, which looks to be the draft house. So we are headed to the draft house. Looks like, yep, we are headed to. Oh, they got those pajamas where it's got other people's faces too. You gotta love those. Uh, we are headed to the draft house. Maybe for some beer, maybe for a shot. I will let you know. Once we finish here, we'll head up to the PJ party. Here's the cash. You need the mask because the mask is going to be your currency upstairs at the PJ party. Ah. Oh. No mask, no drink. We've got a shot tail version of a green tea shot here. So, yeah. Who's ready for a mission? next mission here is uh, ask someone to dance. So uh, I guess we've got to... What? 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 I don't dance. I'm too white to dance. And thus being... And thus, thus being too white. I cannot dance. Uh, and we've got a green, green tea shot of sorts. I am now going to be double fisting. Uh, double. Okay. All right. I'm going to be uh, double fisting here with a green tea shot and my uh, refilled. Uh, I'm just. I'm going to call that a painkiller. Let's take a look at the green tea shot. Oh well, yeah, yeah, it's actually really good. Um, I'd say this is the best of the drinks so far. I'm not sure if that's on the menu or not, but I'm gonna take a look at the price and I'll get back to you. Um, and our last drink's gonna be at the PJ party, but I would assume we got one or two more stops before that, but you don't know. So this is at the, uh, Draft House. Uh, it's interesting that the record store is no more, which was a big, well, which is, which was a big part of uh, Richard Branson's brand, and it seems to just be gone. Kind of a unique and interesting thing to just be gone, but it's the first day and it hasn't been open. 
Who knows? Well, 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 there's a couple still sitting on the counter and they're, they're well closed. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go for that uh, second one. Is this going to mess with my breathalyzer readings? Oh, oh, 150%. But uh, this is my second green tea shot over here at the uh, draft house, which used to have, again, not a review intentionally, but used to have a lot more uh, craft beers than they actually do. I, I apologize for the lack of an ep epilepsy warning, but this is the uh, lightest space I can find. For our last drink here, they just handed it to us, no game, nothing like that. We were up here where the pajama party's happening, and I have a cucumber vodka right here. Uh, it's got an actual cucumber floating in it, and our mask was our kind of uh, idea to get in. Now, these masks actually don't come from this event originally. They come from an event called Never Sleep Alone that no longer exists. That was kind of Virgin's adult version of a, uh, Virgin's version of a, uh, you know, game show per se now let's uh let's break this down i assume we're done and we're done 45 minutes before it starts if we're not done hey surprise to me but uh they're taking us to this pj party and dropping us off 45 minutes earlier than the program says which hey gets me back to the casino sooner again sorry for the epilepsy warning they used to actually take you to pink agave well that is when pink agave had seats open First time I did this, you go to Pink Agave, you would get some corn, you would get some, uh, you would get some corn, you would get some guacamole. I'm sorry, I drank a little bit. Uh, you get some corn, you get some guacamole, you get some different appetizers, some shrimp and stuff like that on the table. You'd have a tequila drink. Problem is, uh, Pink Agave slammed right now. Still, their last reservation was 9:45. It is right now. I can't tell time on a watch anymore. 10:49. So some people are just getting their main courses in Pink Agave right now. $50. Do you get $50 worth of drinks? Yes. They are full drinks. That's important. There's four full drinks, four full cocktails, no beer, nothing like that. Did I think the first drink was pretty damn weak? The one with the strawberry stuff and the, the sparkling wine, because that was not champagne. That was the same crap that they serve up at the pool for free for half an hour. That's the truth. No lie, anything like that second drink that tiki drink though that was good it's not called a painkiller but it was kind of like a painkiller i had two of those uh and then i had two of the green tea shots and then this is the cucumber vodka taste uh, very fresh now these are all batch made cocktails not custom made cocktails there are things that you can order at these given bars and just doing some quick, quick, quick back in the napkin math, maybe about 65 or $70 just for all the drinks on this tour. But remember, you cannot choose them. Is it a way to get $65, $70? Yeah, of drinks. Is it a way to meet some people? Maybe you happen to be, I have to say, pineapple people or something like that, you know? Might be an interesting way to meet some people. Is it the end of the world if you don't do this? Not really. Not really in the world if you don't do this. I want to let you know that because here's the thing. And no pants profits. We're all about honesty and we're all about finance. Uh, you know, the finance, the finance says if you're okay with these drinks, if you're okay with a sparkling wine mixed with some strawberry puree, if you are okay with a rum punch that's got some coconut and stuff like that and it's basically a painkiller tiki drink, if you are okay with a green teen shot, and if you are okay with a... Uh, I, uh, vodka and uh, cucumber these are four full-size drinks I do think that Virgin does mislead a lot of their customers with the whole our drinks are cheaper than other cruise ships because I think on another cruise ship this drink would be that same $14 yes you'd pay an 18% gratuity on that $14 but it just kind of gives you an idea as of right now we are finishing nearly 45 minutes before they say we are it said food. Yeah, I mean, I guess there was uh, chicken wings and, and pretzels, which you could have gotten on your own. I'm not saying don't do this. I'm not saying do do this, but <laughs> I said do do. Uh, 
This is I'm not saying don't do this. I'm not saying do do this. But um, you've seen it all. You have the rights to decide for yourself, and that's what's fun. The most fun thing is deciding for oneself what to do in their life. So I'm gonna finish this drink. I'm gonna give it 10 or 15 minutes after this. See if there's anything else before I close this out. But I mean, I've had some sneaky drinks along the way. I got a breathalyzer back in the room. I'm a I'm a big guy. I want to see where this got me exactly. Uh, you were probably able to size me up earlier in the video. This is not like one of my carnival drinking videos or anything like that. Uh, where we we go buck wild. Uh, this is more of a tame drinking video. I didn't pass out. I made it to the end. But uh, let's finish this. If there's anything else, I'll come back to you. Talk to you about anything else. But I'm going to meet you back in the cabin with the breathalyzer and see where we got. So I'm back in my cabin. The event, the last drink was given to us 45 minutes early. They're pretending now that the pajama party is some of it. Uh, you know, I even talked, I'm, I'm not going to blast anyone. Uh, I even talked to someone in the know. That's very sad that they changed it the way they did. Uh, you know, someone in the know that works for Virgin, uh, that knows what's going on, uh, that knows what the grog walk used to be, that knows it used to go to Pink Agave, has a special drink from Pink Agave, and that was between the last time I, 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 you know, was on video with you. Is it worth it? It's a wash. If you like those drinks, and trust me, knowing Virgin, they're never going to change those drinks because they are fixated to a strict thing across all their ships. So it's likely going to be the same drinks for the Grog Walk across all their ships. That little strawberry sparkling wine the uh, tiki rum drink, which they don't want to call a tiki rum drink, the green tea shot, and a uh, cucumber vodka, or the other Grog Walk group, you remember there were two, got a um, orange vodka. And like I said, I had an extra tiki drink because it was sitting around. I had an extra green tea shot because it was sitting around. I had two uh, Captain and Cokes right before this, and I had the Test Kitchen corn menu. I want to be as clear as possible, plus I had a bottle of something I mixed up in the cabin, which we're not going to talk about. I don't feel like I'm that drunk at all. I haven't had a drink in about 24, 25 minutes, and that is intentional. I got my, my watch is dead. Uh, let's see. Yeah, about 25 minutes having a drink. So let's fire up Mr. Breathalyzer. Oh, app mode. I don't need no app mode. Let's uh, let's switch it to standalone mode. Uh oh, I'm too drunk to operate my breathalyzer. Searching. One, two, three. I don't know how to switch it to standalone mode. Got this little breathalyzer right here. Standalone. There we go. Five, four, three, two. <sighs> Calculating. I had way more to drink than you. 0.03. I'm a bigger guy. 0.03. But I'll tell you exactly where it's at. Look. The Grog Walk is a sad, sad shell of itself, of what it originally was. Like I told you, I went on it, I'm a sea blazer. I went on it during the inaugural year, and I really haven't had a chance to go on it because literally, out of 2,400 people, I got the final numbers, 60 people go on it for $50. Hold on, let's, uh, let's pull out the calculator. You know, 60 people a cruise. I think they do it one more time on the... Uh, on the five day run. So I mean, they make three grand from it. They're definitely not serving three grand worth of drinks. I'm just talking about cost wise. So they're probably banking $2,000 every time they do this, if they're doing two at a time. And let's just say on the five day, you know, they're doing it three times, times 30 people, 90 people, times $50 a person, that's $4,500, and let's even say that's got $1,250 in cost. They're pocketing $3,250. dollars 
If you don't like those drinks I told you about, this ain't the tour for you, bro. This ain't the tour for you, dog. Um, you see where we're at? I do trust this breathalyzer. I'm going to say, ask about the drinks. It's really kind of a hit or miss there, if that's what you want. It is about $70 worth of drinks if you really do price them out. But how far will those $70 worth of drinks run you? Your mileage may vary. I took off my hat. This is Richard from No Pants Profits. And this Never Sleep Alone mask reminding you that much like me, when you wear no pants, the only thing you got left to lose is your 5 o'clock somewhere Grogu shirt. Hope you had a great time. You got any questions? Post them in the comments below. It's Richard from No Pants Profits saying, don't lose your shirt. And uh, the Grog Walk as a shell of its former self, you can miss that and be perfectly okay with your virgin voyage. Bye.